And Scalar454 here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be building this Showcase Miniatures KW Class Heavy Boom Truck in N scale, so stay tuned. So we'll pop this open and we'll see what we got here. All the small cast pieces right here and it looks like a 3d printed truck cab right here the instructions appear to be very very limited and that's it so we'll work around that and this truck actually has you can you can build it so the boom is I guess extended or you can have it tucked away and I am going to do mine in the tucked away um, position so anyways you get the idea what's going on with all the parts now I can see there are some blemishes in the casting which I'll just use some side cutters just to clip those off and a metal file to bring things down and make them flush. With that all done, I'll give all these parts a quick wash in soapy water and then it'll be ready for primer. Now there are some parts that I want to have a nice shiny chrome finish to and I did buy some chrome paint but yeah, those never turn out the way you really want them to so I'm wondering if I can polish them with a Dremel and maybe I can get a result that I want. Bumper doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the bumper doesn't look too bad, but I don't know about the gas tanks. Hmm. The old way, the new way. I don't know. So I did a test using the uh, chrome paint, and I put it on right here. Super weird paint to deal with, but that's the difference between paint and polished. I wish I had a compound to actually polish it correctly, but I don't know. To smooth out the tops of this, I'm just gonna use a file. I'm going to assemble as much as I can right now using the super glue, which hopefully I don't glue my fingers together. Big piece on now. There is nothing in the instructions that say exactly where the axles go on the frame. So I'm going to put it so the axles and the wheels are centered to these um, support beams right here. 
That may not be exactly accurate, but it, if I ever build another one of these, it's going to help me place the other ones in the exact same spot. In the picture that comes with the kit, as well as pictures I've seen online, there is a little utility box right here, which would be right here on the frame. However, it is not included in the kit or even on the instructions, which is a little too bad because that would be a nice extra detail. So my kit has a bit of a defect right there, which is gonna be a bit of a pain to fix. Some putty, and I'll see if I can fill this. I think we are ready for primer. So we have the chassis all painted black and the boom is still in primer. I used Vallejo's Surface Primer, which is an acrylic product. Yeah, it works so-so. It's hard to have things stick to aluminum. Um, the black is Model Air Black. And then I also painted the cab, which is Model Air's White. And I put a coat, well actually several coats, of Tamiya's clear coat on it, which did not go as shiny as I wanted it to. I don't really know. Maybe it's because I used too much of a this Tamiya's um, thinner. But either way, it looks okay. That little blemish right there, I didn't do a great job <laughs> of repairing it, but whatever. It is what it is. I think it's still going to look okay when it's on the truck. The next thing to do is to paint the boom, and I think I'm going to use this German Grey. Um, I was going to maybe do a, a mix of colors, but I feel if I do another one of these, I want to <laughs> not have to try to match paint, so this is the best way to go, I think. So I'm just going to paint this by, by hand with the brush. Ooh, that's a lot of paint right there. Ooh, geez. That's a lot of paint. Okay. To be honest, the paint is not sticking to the primer all that well. The next thing to paint is the grill inside of here. suspect this is going to take a couple of coats. I'm switching it up to the Model Master Black. It's a little thicker because it's not designed for airbrushes, or at least it's not thinned at all. The next order of business is to do the planks on the truck bed. And I imagine these are wood, but I want to replicate something that's a very used and stained kind of wood. So I'm going to start with the Tamiya's Brown XF72. And I might mix this in several different ways with different blacks and stuff like that. Because I do not want it just to be a solid brown color. Let's see what I'm doing right here. Let's start rubbing it in. I might actually thin this out a bit with some water. Put a little bit of black in that.
I gotta say, so far, this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark yellow 2 XF88, and I'm gonna see if I can add in a few highlights. Right to the metal. A little spot here that went right through to the metal. So I'm just filling that with some black paint and when that dries hopefully I can kind of fix that. So I'll let this dry for a little bit otherwise if I keep adding layers it's going to soak up all the paint and potentially lift it off the metal and I don't want that so we'll leave it for now. I suppose we can pull the tape off now. Okay, we'll continue with the tires. For this side, I have to be a little bit more careful. I have an idea. I'm going to paint right up to that, and hopefully I'm going to be able to just scrape off the paint off that rim. So I'm taking my fine tweezers, and I'm... Reaping around the edge. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but it does kind of work. The next thing we're going to do is use this Vallejo Black Wash. And we are going to dip it into the wheels in here to try to give it some depth. Matter of fact, that's too much water. There we go, that's what we want to see. While everything is drying, I'm going to paint the orange markings on the cab. And all I have is this, what color is this? Gloss Tangerine, which might not be the exact color, but it's what I have. I wonder if I can do both at the same time. Suppose we can put our etched metal pieces in. Wait a minute. The instructions make it look like it's you put A or B on top of A, but I don't think that is correct. I think it's A or B. Well, the grill fell out, so I'm changing my plan. I think I'm going to glue on the cab now and then put the little details on afterwards. Glue the bumper on. No, you don't do that, you bastard. And then finally, the boom. Yep, I am very happy with it. Man, does that look good on a layout. For end scale, it's full of good detail. Not the easiest thing to build, but it's not the worst either. It would be nice if it had a windshield, but that's okay. Uh, I really am happy with the way the paint came out. I think it looks pretty good. So I would definitely give Showcase Miniature Trucks a recommendation. I know they have a lot of good stuff, and I'm hoping in the future I get to build more of them, because... Man, it would be cool to have a fleet of these. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.